My holiday began on the 8th of July this year with a bus trip from Cairns to Normanton. I now invite you to join me in Outback Queensland for an interesting journey aboard the Golflander rail motor from Normanton to Croydon. Normanton Station was built in 1890. The railway line from Normanton to Croydon was completed in 1891, but it is not connected to any other railway in Queensland and distances are still measured in miles. Rail Motor RM93 was built in 1950 at Ipswich Railway Workshops in Queensland. The driver sits up front next to the engine. As you can see, the rail motor controls are very last century. The engine transmits power to the front steel wheels via a four-speed crash gearbox. was built to connect the river port of Normanton with the rich gold fields at Croydon. Some of the many cattle we saw along the way. Remnants of gold mining which began in 1885 around here. Remains of Clarina Station 11 miles from Normanton crossing a bridge over one of many creeks which were dry on 10th of July. For much of the journey a road ran parallel to the railway line and 19 miles from Normanton there was not much left to see. Passengers enjoying the scenery. Grey nomads at Critters Camp Station. The engineers were concerned that termites would eat wooden sleepers, so they used steel sleepers, mostly laid in freshly turned earth, which settled down over time to make a good firm base. We're now approaching track maintenance workers and slowing down. I gave you a signal there to go really slow, so that's what I'll do. First gear, take a long. You can see to your right, just back ahead of where Gary's standing, the old sleepers that they've removed. They're uh, buggered, for want of a better word. The track needs regular maintenance, especially after rain. The driver stopped at the remains of Hayden Station to do a mail drop for the surrounding cattle stations. Fifty-six miles from Normanton, we stopped at Blackpool Station for a 30-minute morning tea break. 
Morning tea with a souvenir mug was a $13 addition to our $34.50 rail ticket to Croydon. Tea or coffee and a muffin were served. We helped ourselves to hot water. Other people from the rear carriage were still enjoying morning tea. Our luggage was securely stored in the rear carriage. This large tank supplied steam engines with water till 1922 when rail motors took over. As you can see there are some metal sleepers below the step. With a full tummy we were now happy to move on. More gold mining relics from the late 1800s. Some old sections of track were left abandoned here. These termite mounds aren't made of dirt but termite poo from the termites wood heavy diet. We arrived at Croydon around 1.30 p.m. We stepped off the golf lander and collected our luggage. RM93 parked at Croydon station. We ate a late lunch at the club hotel in Croydon and some of us went to the Croydon Museum. We also saw evidence of old gold mining equipment scattered around the town. Most of us spent the night in cabins behind the club hotel. After visiting Croydon and as part of this tour we also visited the spectacular Cobalt Gorge near Forsyth and also the Undara lava tubes near Mount Surprise. I hope you enjoyed watching Golflander Rail Motor from Normanton to Croydon. Look in the description below this online video for YouTube links to other Outback Queensland rail trips like Savannah Lander from Forsyth to Cairns and Longreach to Brisbane on Spirit of the Outback. Bye for now.